Hi everyone. Welcome to the Simply Learn YouTube channel. In this session, we will create a QR code scanner using Python. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel, like the tutorial and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. And before starting our project, let us have a simple question to brush up on our knowledge. And please answer in the comment section below and we will update the correct answer in the pinned comment. And your question is, what is the minimum decodable size for a QR code scanner? That is QR code only. And your options are 1.5 by 1.5 cm or 1 by 1 cm or 1.75 by 1.75 cm or 2 by 2 cm. You can pause the video, give it a thought and answer in the comment section. And moving on, now we'll start a project. That is create a QR code scanner. For that, first we'll create a folder. And name it as creating QR code scanner and inside we will open the command prompt and write a command code space period and press enter to open our IDLE that is I am using the Visual Studio code you can use any IDLE as you are comfortable with and we'll create a file and name it as qrscanner.py and now the first thing we will do is install the modules that we will require for the project for that we will open the command prompt uh, the first module we will install is opencv and you can search for the command in the web or if you know you can just write it down and press enter for that I will show you how to get for the command you can just type open cv python and press enter you will see the first link that is open cv python that is the original documentation and you can see the command here just copy it direct to the command prompt and paste the command here and just press enter as you can see that it states that the requirement is already satisfied i have already installed the opencv module you can just type in the command and press enter it will just install it for you and the second one module we will install is pyspar Just open the old official link and you can see the command here pip install pyspar just copy it and redirect back to the command prompt and paste your command here and just press enter it will do the work for you as it is stating that it's the requirement is already satisfied I have already installed the pyspar module you can do that just writing the command and press enter Now moving to our Visual Studio code. Now we'll start with our code and we'll first we will import the packages. The first package we will import is that is the CV2, that is the open CV. The next we will import the decode class from the PyS bar module. So for that we will write the command. decode now the first thing we will do is uh, we will create a variable and ask the opencv module 
to make the video capture function work for us for that we will create the variable and name it as cm and the command would be cv2 dot video capture now we will set the window this is the window that would be reflected when we just make our camera equal to true that is camera is always defaulted as false you have to make it true to get it pop it on your window screen and for that we will set the size cam dot set and first we'll set the width and we'll set the width as <coughs> 5 and set the pixels as 640 and now we'll set the height cam dot set and height as 6 and pixel as seems uh, or 480 as you wish you can set it as and now we will make the camera equal to true as it is a button for a camera and it's been defaulted set as false we have to make it true now while camera is equal to equal to true we will read the QR code scanner we will read the QR code that we will show in our front camera so for that we will write the command when camera equal to equal to true that is when the camera is open we would get two things that is success <coughs> and the frame and that would be equal to cam dot read it will read the frame that would be shown into our camera and the success is it will return the boolean value that is 1 or 0 and the frame is it would read the frame as captured by our front camera and decode it now to decode it we will run a loop for i we will make it as decode and inside we will pass the frame that is the frame captured by our camera and print the type that is uh, which type it is that is its QR code or its barcode or its uh, any other code so it will just capture the frame and it will return or print it as which type it is now we will print what we will decode from the QR code so that we will write the command code dot data what data is stored in it and we will use the function decode and the memory we would be using is UTF-8 <coughs> oh sorry uh, we have taken it as I and now after we have read the frame and decoded it we want it to sleep for some time for that we will just import the time module and you can install the time module from the date time module you can just write the command pip install date time or you can just search on the chrome or any browser about the date time module and python you can just write date time space python space module you will be just directed to the main documentation and you will get the command there
and you can just copy it and paste it in the command prompt and the rest would be done for you as i have already installed it i will import the time module and now make this frame sleep for about six seconds and now <clears throat> we want to make or show the camera uh, on our window it should be popped up and we should be able to see it for that we will use the open module and write the command I am sure and we will name the camera window with our QR code scanner you can name it anything as you want so I will name it as R QR underscore code underscore scanner and the next thing we will do is pass the frame in it and we will just write another command that would be wait key function that would be we will using the open save module and the wait key function and this would be used to capture the frame after the three seconds so this is our code we will save it and make it run okay we got an error okay this error is due to as i was using the front camera for recording and it was not able to capture the frames so i have switch off the front camera the webcam and now we will again save the file and run it now you can see that the webcam has opened up and now we will show it a qr code and you can see that it has concluded its data as http slash 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 www.simplyland.com I have created the QR code in my mobile phone and made it available to the webcam and it has showed us the output as http www.simplyland.com we can just press on click and click on the right button of the mouse we can we will be directed to the link and with that we have come to the end of this session i hope it was interesting and informative if you liked it please let us know in the comment section below and do subscribe for more from simply learn Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.